Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I am Gideon, and today we're going to be talking about fragrance, one of my favourite things to talk about. Um, I got to get up close and personal with a brand which I have admired for several years, but haven't really properly tested out and engaged with because I've had so many other options for fragrances, but the brand in question is none other than Killian. Um, some people call it by Killian. Um, on this it just says Killian Paris but I recently went into Harrods um, well last year last part of last year and um, I had a fragrance consultation with the brand um, with an amazing sales associate I went up to the sixth floor which is the salon and if you ever go to um, if you ever come to London and you're in Harrods go up to the sixth floor if you're a fragrance lover because they have all of the niche brands they have all of them downstairs as well but you have more space to kind of take your time upstairs walk around have fragrance consultations in a quiet or more relaxed environment um, they have everything up there from Guerlain to uh, Chanel Dior Tom Ford um, Clive Christian Zerjoff everything all to name but a few and other niche uh, fragrance houses that I'm not too familiar as, with as well. Um, so after an amazing fragrance consultation, I'm going to put the footage in right now. So we are back in the Salon de Faham. This is Russia Duff. And me and Jay, as I said, we're going to go to um, Killian now to have a little fragrance consultation. Um, by Crystal. Just to see what kind of fragrances from the house that we like. This is Dior. So Dior have like their private collection of fragrances here. You can have a consultation. And then we've got Tom Ford. So nice up here. Literally, if you just want a more of a quiet experience, then you can always come up to the sixth floor. Sorry. I thought it was seven. Hello. And here we are. Here we are in Killian. This is where we came for. So me and Jay. Back in Killian and I've just sampled Beyond Love which is um, white flowers, tuberose, yeah. tuberose, yeah. tuberose, yeah. Um, yeah. very elegant fragrance, very nice. I said I can imagine it at a wedding, someone mm. wearing it at a wedding. Um, this is a very white impression as well. Yeah. My impression. The other one we've just tried, which me and Jay like, is Good Girl Gone Bad. The extreme, yeah. Which I really like. I do like, like it. I do like it. Yeah, it's definitely a lot less harsh. And sure. even after a while, it's now taking on a slightly different scent, and I'm still liking it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It has the same flowers as the. Good girl go bad, but it also has some milk, so we have overall impression of composition around it. Mm. More milky, softer, mm -hmm. more towards the oriental side. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's starting with flowers. It's got Champagne there. Love and Tears, which is the jasmine. Oh, love and Tears. Okay. Because I said I like jasmine and tuberoses yeah. as well, so <laughs> this is all that's lovely. Love and Tears. Yeah, it's very fine. Chanel. Chanel. I'm getting yeah. a Chanel vibe from this. Because the flowers are really transparent. And it is very nice. This is very nice. You won't find a lot of vanilla or anything. Blood and tears. Blood and tears. This is very nice. Love and tears. I'm surprised that you like it. I'm surprised I like it. <laughs> okay, so that's my pile that I do like. <laughs> yes. These are the. Mm. So we have. Alcohol Essence by the Herbal Essence at the top. Mm -hmm. We have Jasmine Absolute, Ylang Ylang Essence, and also Jasmine Headspace. So two sorts of Jasmine, Ylang okay. Ylang. Okay. Something to chew on top in the wood days. Maybe that's what the Chanel vibe is coming from. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. Is that a new, where is it, the red one? Is it Rolling one. in Love? Does that say Rolling right? in Love, yes. Yeah. Is it a new one? This is the newest one. Ah. We also have a poster on here as well. Yes. <laughs> this version was a new direction for Killian. Oh, Because he was inspired sorry. by the, uh, Picasso's evolution in terms of paintings. He used to paint blue and yellow and then he progressed to cubism. So he thought 
She has decided to get to do the same in perfumery. So from the cellars, the dark, the woody, the rum yeah. kind mm -hmm. of the scents he went for powdery, salt virus. Okay. Summer sweet almond milk. Ah, so this is the, it's the predominant notes are almond, almond milk. Almond milk. Almond uh, milk. Freesia, iris, uh, some tuberose as well. And seven types of musk. So it's very musky. Oh, not that. Spray that git. Very musky. <laughs> well, that's me too. <laughs> <laughs> I do like almond in that. Yeah. The almond milk is quite different to almond milk. Oh, okay. It's oh. not the same note. Right. Oh, okay. Because almonds clear, it smells more like nut. Yes. Like a nut, like hazelnut. Yes. Whereas almond milk gives an impression of musky oh. bark. Oh. You can smell that. So. Yes. You can. You can really smell it. Actually, you can smell a lot of musk as well, but since musk is more of a skin oh. scent, it really emphasizes the almond milk in this perfume. Yes. Burning in love. What do you think, kids? I like it. It's How does um, it make you feel? So different. It makes, it makes me, me want to eat the card. <laughs> it's, 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 it's delicious. Mm. Yeah, it smells delicious. It's yeah, the ultimate addiction as well. That's according mm. to Killian. Also, the only red bottle that we have. I was gonna, because I'm looking it's around at all dark yes. bottles. Is there a reason why he. Because it that's up? the color of your beating heart. Oh. And you're very much in love. It's all red. <laughs> I'm very lucky. <laughs> I it's like beautiful. it. Check. A lot of attention is being paid to the details, to the color of the bottle. Yeah. Also, all of our bottles have a shield, which is called Achilles Shield on the side. So that the bottle is not only protected from the light, mm. it also right. shows Killian's belief that perfume can be worn as a, a weapon of seduction yeah. or armor of protection. I agree with that. So 100%. your perfume bottle is really protected, yeah. not only from the sunlight, mm. but it also shows that you can wear it as a mm. So clever. So Tidian dark perfume. bottles do actually um, help preserve. Better for a oh, fragrance. Interesting. interesting. So they are especially the opaque ones where you can't see how much yeah. liquid is left. Yeah. It's understand you can't see, but know, it's frustrating. Yeah. But at least with this, you <laughs> can kind of get an idea roughly. You can, you can kind you of can. look down. <laughs> if you look on the sides, you can only see the line how much is left. Of course. Yeah. Oh, how? Say, say that again. Well, I missed that. I was too so, busy trying to get everything if you look, in. You hold it up like this. You can always look on the line over here on the side how much ah. is left. Yes, of course. So it's not completely opaque. Yes, of course. That's very smart. Mm. Yeah. Very yeah. smart. Oh. You would know if you sprayed it completely. It wouldn't spray anymore, mm. but yeah. then, you know, if you want to get a refill, because yeah. all of these are refillable, refillable yeah. you can actually make sure, you know, it doesn't overflow, mm. because yes. you can see how much is in it. Which I love, is that you can refill these, it's so the good. The shouldn't be disposable. No, it's, it's, <laughs> well, it's sustainability is a big yes. um, issue right now, so yeah. It should last for a Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Gillian was inspired to create kind of chic classic but also chic and elegant bottles because he went to a museum where they used to have a presentation of all the perfume bottles throughout the centuries yeah. and oh he saw God. how it has changed yeah. and he said that inspired his idea to put perfumery back on its pedestal. So I the idea of the that. bottles is not only the philosophy of the fragrance being a weapon mm. of seduction or armor of protection mm. but also the historical meaning of it. I love that. Be a little piece of luxury on a dressing table. I love that. I love that. I really, really like that. <laughs> There's something about Killian's fragrances, even when I watch a lot of reviews, is that a lot of people, they feel very differently about Killian's fragrances. Yes. It evokes something that other brands... Different for everyone. Yeah, which yeah. Are really, yeah. yeah. Also, Killian perfume smells very one way on the card and completely different. Yeah, which happens. Yes. Once you wear it, you have witnessed that with yeah. love and be shy. Yeah. yeah. That's why I always advise yeah. people to try it and have a little sample of where it mm -hmm. how, how you feel about it. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Do you want to explore more boutique experiences? Um, or continue with the floral notes? The fresh, the woody? I think I'm happy to move more to the woody. The okay, because that's your thing. Yeah. Let's what do woody. Saying? No, I'm, I'm here for it all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm here for it all. Go on, Gideon, drink your champagne. You know you want to. You should have chugged. I know, wait, as soon as she gave it to you, you just wanted to chug it all down. Look at your face. No, I'm not going to chug it all down. But you I'm want to. Like, it's... You're you trying to be civilised. No, you do a glassy sip. You can't. See, he has that. Made. A nice long flute. Accordingly, darling. And I have this. What? Oh, I'm just being good today. It's being good. 
I'm always good life. Okay. I'm <laughs> gonna be shady. Light my fire. We love the same bubbly. The same with the oh, wow. and Monte Carlo cigars. Wow. Give me a head in uh, this one is fire. Night, you know, yeah. Cuban Havana. Oh, where you're okay. smoking yeah, your yeah. cigar, it's warm in the nighttime. Ooh. It also smells spicy to me. Is that just me? Yes, <laughs> it's correct. It mm. is a smoky, woody category. Mm. So it's not woody like a thick wood. It mm. has also some spices as well. Because it's a night in the Havana, yeah. so it's spicy, spicy. I'm not kidding. That's, that's for me. It's I know. Very masculine, yeah. isn't it? I go very, very masculine. Very is that my, yeah, these are my, mm, these are my yeses. <laughs> Do you like the scent of coffee? I love the scent of coffee. Oh, I yeah. Oh, no, yes, I yes. Had a today. Oh, I have, because yeah. somebody was late, but well, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is, would, uh, would awaken anyone. This is a mocha coffee, Turkish coffee with a lot Ooh. of cardamom. So you're going to also feel the spice, but the spice is warm. Oh. In Light My oh. Fire, the spice isn't as warm. It's intoxicated. It's a mm. hot mocha coffee from Turkey. Was inspired by I Indian actually really Turkey. like this. And I didn't think that oh, I would. I do. This is intoxicated. I hear so much about this. This is, this is of, really nice. Yeah. It's one of the best sellers. It's one of the ones we released in 2007 oh. when the brand mm. was launched. So it stayed from the very beginning with us. It's also one of our best sellers. Yes. I don't mind that. I can see why it would be called intoxicated. <laughs> Why do you say it, that? It, it kind of pulls you in. Like there's a addictive aspect. Yeah, you keep wanting to smell it. It's true. My nose hasn't moved away from the, the card. Is, <laughs> it's very intoxicating. Like it's very. I told you, Killian's fragrances mm -hmm. do something okay, to so you. Okay, so these are a yes. <laughs> Definitely a yes. <laughs> Weapon this of seduction one is a maybe. Okay. Weapon of seduction. That's correct. <laughs> I'm going Actually, on for ten minutes now. Of even more intoxicating, deadly coffee with a cyanide uh -huh. accord, but don't again for it. Oh, yes. Like oh, let me that's get that gorgeous. in. Live your day to the colors because you don't know what's gonna happen. That is black phantom. This is Irish coffee with a twist. Yes, I knew I could smell Irish coffee. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Instead of whiskey, you have the rum, oh. but there's also sweetness of a. Cream on the Irish coffee, a little bit of cane sugar. This is rum, really nice. Coffee. What do you think, kids? This is definitely my top. Oh, this is the box, people. Yes, Black Phantom comes in this box with a skull. Can lay a skull and the key as well. And you can have the key as well, yes, where you can. This is beyond. <laughs> you can lock your box so that nobody can use your perfume. Yes. Yeah. That's Black Phantom. Does cool. each Killian perfume come with its own individual box? Yes, it does. Sometimes it's the box. Like, yes. uh, only two perfumes come with one in the car. The ones that have a silver top mm. come with a silver box. So intoxicated, like my fire, would come in this silver box. Mm -hmm. Black Phantom, and also Dark Lord. Mm -hmm. Dark Lord. Dark Lord, Expenedris Lux. This is a very interesting perfume because it comes as dark and then goes to the light. Oh. The other way around. Usually the perfumes start light and they go to the dark side and then light on. Okay. But oh, this is wow. the other way around. Dark wood. Mm, that's a bit dark too. Wood. Yes, yes. This you is like a very woody scent. Yeah, this yeah. is you. This is not smoky at all. This is woody, almost pure mm. wood. But even though it's pure wood, it's not as harsh as I thought it was going to be. Like I can still yes. sense it. <laughs> but yes, yes, definitely. Mm. Depends what they combine the ingredients with. Yeah. So, no. Yeah, yeah and maybe that's why I'm like, oh, okay. This is something you could you could layer it probably this one, couldn't you? Do you think so? I think it could be. See, I don't find it that strong like an oud. No, no, definitely. Oud can be too aggressive. Yeah. This one, isn't. this one I don't find it. Yes, yes, yes. It's strong. It makes a statement. 
I don't mind it. Um, it is actually. It's very floral. Very, very floral, but very. That's too floral for me. I feel like I'm walking constantly around with a bouquet. Uh, we can even have coffee beans over here. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm sure. Sense of smell. We can even more water. Or... I'm okay. Are you sure you, you know you want to down that right now and get another <laughs> flu of champagne? I drink very slowly. <laughs> mm, coffee beans, as people know. Bumble harmony. Bumble harmony. Bumble harmony. It's like drinking white tea in a bumble forest. Good stuff. Uh, in a what forest? In a bumble forest. Bumble forest, bumble okay. Forest. okay. A cup of white tea in a bumble forest. Mm. Bumble harmony. Mm. Okay. It's unique, but it has white tea as well. So it's yes. Fresh yes. yes. White light. That, that's that in the flirting with the lights. The mm. light fire. Mm. It almost smells like when you're coming out of, yeah, like fresh out of the shower or something. That's yes. the vibe I'm getting. Yes. Yeah. Quite refreshed, relaxing. I could definitely smell the white yeah, tea in it. It makes me think of our rainforest. Like yes, rain. yes. That sort of refreshing feeling. So it's quite different to the other woods I've shown you, like mm. on the dark side. Oh, so this is a lighter woody? Yes. Oh, yes. it's this is lighter woody. Wow. This is definitely flirting with the light, with the white tea in it, with the bergamot, with the leaves, the green essences, the yes. citruses, the white tea. Mm. I love that. Bergamot is the most used ingredient in perfumery. Really? Is it? Mm. At least 50% of all the fragrances on the market have bergamot. Wow. Is there a particular reason why? Is it... Because it serves as a very good fresh note. Okay. It's, it, I mean, there are some perfumes called Venetian bergamot from, yeah. from Ford or something. So you can actually smell what it smells like, but in a composition, it really freshens it up and there's a nice mm. opening to the entire permit structure of the scent. That's why it's so commonly used. And you can combine it with most ingredients. Florals, woods, sweet, gold, yeah. everything works with bergamot. Okay. So it's quite an affordable ingredient in that regard. Yes. Just, it's quite affordable. It's quite, yeah. Quite, yeah. Oh, affordable. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said fluid. Like, oh, you can use it. Going yeah. affordable, like, easy to... Um, I would say it's probably less than... Depends on uh, Let's say, um... No, definitely less food or rose petals mm. because it's the citrus from usually from Italy. Right. So, yeah. It's a lot of Italian fragrances, it's not a lot of Bergamot. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Very, very floral, but very. That's too floral for me. I feel like I'm walking constantly around with a bouquet. Uh, we can even have coffee beans over here. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm sure. Sense of smell. We can even have water. Or... I'm okay. You sure you, you know you want to down that right now and get another <laughs> flu of champagne? I drink very slowly. <laughs> mm, coffee beans, as people know. Bumble harmony. Bumble harmony. Bumble harmony. It's like drinking white some? tea in a bumble forest. Good stuff. So in a what forest? In a bumble forest. Bumble forest, okay. okay. A cup of white tea in a bumble forest. Mm. Bumble harmony. Mm. Okay. Unique, but it has white tea as well. So it's yes. fresh woody. Yes. yes. White light. That, that's that in the flirting with the lights. The light fire. Mm. It almost smells like when you're coming out of, yeah, like fresh out of the shower or something. That's yes. the vibe I'm getting. Yes. Yeah. Quite refreshed, relaxing. So I could definitely smell the white tea yeah, that's in it. It makes me think of our rainforest. Yes, rain. yes. Yeah. That sort of refreshing feeling. So it's quite different to the other woods I've shown you that mm. have on the dark side. Oh, so this is a lighter woody? Yes. Oh, yes. It's, this is lighter woody. Wow. This is definitely flirting with the light. With the white tea in it, with the bergamot, with the nut leaves, the green essences, the yes. citruses, the white tea. Mm. I love that. Bergamot is the most used ingredient in perfumery. Is it? Mm. At least 50% of all the fragrances on the market have bergamot. Wow. Is there a particular reason why? Is it... Because it serves as a very good fresh note. Okay. It's, it's, it, I mean, there are some perfumes 
called Venetian bergamot from yeah. or something. So you can actually smell what it smells like, but in a composition, it really freshens it up and there's a nice mm. opening to the entire firm structure of the scent. That's why it's so commonly used. And you can combine it with most ingredients, florals, woods, sweet, bourbon, yeah. everything works with bergamot. Okay. So is it quite an affordable ingredient in that regard? Yes. Just, it's quite affordable. It's quite, yeah. yeah. Oh, affordable. <laughs> affordable. I thought you said fluid, like, oh, it is <laughs> no, it yeah. affordable, like, it's easy to... Uh, I would say it's probably less than, uh, let's say, um, you know, definitely less than wood or rose petals, yeah. mm. because it's the citrus from, usually from Italy. Right. So, uh, it's a lot yeah. of Italian fragrances, it's a lot of uh, bergamot. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So he's making a purchase. <laughs> yes. Kilian Discovery said a bottle 7.5 each, a collection of Bamboo Harmony, Black yeah. Phantom, The Girl Gone Bad, Intoxicated, Love Don't Be Shy, Moonlight in Heaven, Straight to Heaven, and Money Gold. A very good buy, I might add. A very good buy. Gideon is purchasing that. I thought that I like perfume. Nope. <laughs> Lovely. How do you feel, kids, about that? I thought it was the first Kilian purchase, which is a good way to get into the brand. It's very true. Oh, look at your snazzy bag. Oh, I love it. Decide which full bottle you'd like to get. Yes, they're both yeah. in the wear it. Thank you. And Peter's been so kind. Yes. <laughs> Second time having you. Yes. So patient. Welcome. Thank you. Can I try a hundred perfumes? Fellow perfume lovers. <laughs> yes. You, 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 you've trumped me, believe. I thought I liked that. Nope, nope, nope. You oh, are you different. Some samples as well. Oh, yeah. My one was just the straight to heaven. That's the one that straight I. To yeah. Heaven. That's uh, definitely for me. Is the one that you like, which is Laisel. the laser one, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah, the plummy one, isn't yes, it? Yes, plummy oh, gloves. Am I cheeky? Yes. Could I have those? I think I might, because I did like the plummy one. It was sweet and floral. Sweet I did like it, yes. Oh, that's lovely. So, I just want the Harrods. Okay, can I ask? Can you not just put this in your bag and I can take the Harrods bag? actually the first Harris bag I've got. I've bought oh. some Harris before but I've not got it. In the actual Harris? Okay, Harris then you bag. take the bag. I'm just... I'm just bag. So we had... Oh, so I've got needle samples as you can see. Show me the sample. Only two bottles left, so it's going to be straight in. It's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> uh, <sighs> so now how do you I think feel? How do you feel? Well, you know, I'm always hungry. You know me and fragrance. Like, for me and fragrance, I'm, it's my thing. It's like my, my 20th bottle of fragrance this year. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. Just, I think it's nice. Fragrance is... The thing I like about this brand is um, what they either evoke. Um, to, so, either Killian said you can use fragrance as a weapon of seduction mm -hmm. or as protection. Is that correct? Uh, it's either protection or weapon of seduction. Weapon of seduction or shield of protection. Shield of protection, that's it. I ended up going with this, which is the Discovery set from Killian. Um, I think this was more of a holiday um, Discovery set, and it has all of the incredible scents. You've got eight um, scents here. Um, each of them are 7.5 mil and you also get this um, fragrance travel um, case which you can put your fragrance in. As you can see one is missing. I currently have Love Don't Be Shy in my um, travel case because I'm really loving that fragrance. Um, the fragrances in the Discovery set you've got Bamboo Harmony, Black Phantom, Good Girl Gone Bad, Intoxicated, Love Don't Be Shy. Moonlight in Heaven, Straight to Heaven and Woman in Gold. So you have an incredible range. And I just thought it'd be a great way for me to kind of delve into the brand and try some of the fragrances and get to kind of just test them for myself in my own time and find out which ones I really like. Um, 
It retailed for around, I think about 180, I can't remember exactly, 180, maybe 190 pounds. Um, you can still, I think, purchase these online, or you can probably just go into a, a Killian um, store itself or boutique and purchase one there. But straight off the bat, I think the one which I've really enjoyed is um, Straight to Heaven. <sighs> I think it's this one. Oh no, yeah, Straight to Heaven is this one. This is an amazing scent. It has, I believe, rum, dried fruits, uh, patchouli. And what's really interesting about um, Killian Fragrances, what I was told when I was there, was that everything about the brand, I mean, there's so much consideration that goes into the whole branding, the way that Killian makes his fragrances. And what's really interesting as well is um, Killian is actually one of the heirs to the Hennessy, um, the Hennessy company, the Hennessy, the, the cognac company. So he incorporates things like rum into his fragrances and just very interesting and um, different fragrance accords, which was really nice to learn about. Um, another one which I really like is Intoxicated. I find it quite spicy and really interesting. It's got like cinnamon, it's got cardamom. Um, it's really interesting. It's very intoxicating. I keep, I had to keep smelling it to kind of, it's very different to anything that I own. I would definitely describe the brand in one word as sexy. I definitely feel there is a sex appeal. Even the way that they have the um, packaging of their fragrances, the way they're packaged, everything is just so well thought out. And the philosophy of the brand that I was told is that it's perfume as art. So Killian wanted to have, um, when he started the brand, I think in 2007, he wanted to really put perfumery back on a pedestal when there was a lot of care and there was a lot of thought and there was just a lot of pride taken in how perfumes were created, which he thought was what was missing at the time. Um, and boy are they beautiful fragrances. They're all very interesting, they're all very different. Another one which I really like is... It, it's this one. Black Phantom. Black Phantom is another really, really nice fragrance. It's quite, it's got like Turkish coffee. I think it's got chocolate in here. It's a very gourmand type of fragrance. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. And I, yeah, so it's, there's some kind of coffee from what I remember. She said there's Turkish coffee, I believe. There's some kind of chocolate note in here. It's, and I don't really like fragrances that have like coffee and chocolate. They're generally not the kind of scents that I like or have liked when I've tried them. But this was one of the ones that I had written down on my list as well as being quite, quite amazing. Um, she was just so lovely. The woman in the video, as you can see, Vita, she was so knowledgeable. She went through everything with us. Um, she offered us champagne. She made it a really nice event. Like she actually, when the first time we came into sample, she said, okay, you're clearly into fragrances come back and we'll go through all this the, the fragrances and I'll talk you through them and we can discover which ones you like and she was so patient she gave us two samples the first time we came um, I think I had love don't be shy which is the one that I have in here beautiful beautiful very sweet musky um, it has vanilla he Killian said he's also put an accord of marshmallow so it's sweet but it's it's, it's got like a, a sophistication to it, which is so nice. And it's just really cozy and warm. Um, the ones I probably like the least, um, Good Girl Gone Bad. I mean, I love, I love this. It's a, it's a fl white floral type of fragrance with musk. I think there's some vanilla in here as well. I think there's vanilla. It's nice, but compared to the others, I think it's a bit safe personally. Um, so Intoxicated, Straight to Heaven, um, Black Phantom and Love Don't Be Shy really speak to me. I like Woman in Gold. This one is for me quite sweet as well. It's It's got tonka bean, I think there's some patchouli and vanilla in here. It's, it's a very strong fragrance, like I've sprayed it on my wrist and it's very strong. Whereas Destroyed to Heaven, it's a bit more subtle. There's a subtlety to it and it's it's really interesting. So from the whole collection, my favourites probably are 
Um, oh, and also I didn't talk about Moonlight in Heaven. Moonlight in Heaven is got coconut, mango. I think there's grapefruit. It's a very sort of tropical, uplifting scent. It reminds me of almost being on holiday. It's that got that kind of summery feel. Um, so my favourites, Love Don't Be Shy, I love that fragrance, that's absolutely beautiful. Um, Straight to Heaven, Intoxicated, and Black Phantom. Black Phantom is beautiful. This is really great, so if you get a chance to go to Killian, I would highly recommend checking this out. I'm really loving um, discovering all the scents and I kind of want to get more. What I like as well about the brand is they believe in something called Ecolux, which just means that when you buy your fragrance, they're not cheap. Um, I think they're about £220 here in the UK for a 50 mil. So yeah, it's not cheap at all. Um, but once you use it up, you can take the bottle back and get it refilled for half the price. So it's quite clever. Um, and I like brands that think about details like that. Anyways, that was my little spiel. Um, I'm really loving getting to know about more niche um, fragrance houses. And yeah, I'm looking forward to discovering this more. Okay, that was all. <laughs> Thank you and join me in my next fragrance video. I um, hope you like this. Please subscribe. I'm going to make more videos about fragrance and other things. Um, so I hope you join me for those. Otherwise, take care and see you in the next one.